All right, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me on this Fields of Dreams. Again, the motivation is simple player number two is at a soccer camp at Messiah University this time. And so I got time to kill, so figured I would take a walk and check out this pretty interesting place and find the legendary Shoemaker Field, um, home of the 11 time men's national champions and the six time, I believe, women's national champions soccer teams. So, all right. Hope you enjoy. of offices and classrooms for music and voice and stuff I have no ability in. Okay, my first observations. Obviously everyone understands or knows Messiah soccer and the quality that's there. And, uh, and kind of that's what Simple player number two is exploring. And, you know, when you think of a small Christian college in the sort of the middle of PA, you know, this doesn't seem so small. <laughs> it seems a lot bigger than, than we realize, um, or than I realize. I thought it would be much tinier. Um, I will go and say again. The college university industrial complex should really start considering topographical maps because this is hilly um, but lovely so, and well kept, everything well, well kept in spite of it being super dry and all that. But um, you can tell there's a care to this place. So shout out to the physical plant folks, parking lot, as you can see. All right, keep wandering. There are just a ton of Adirondack chairs in this central place. I mean, they're not gonna miss you know, two, three, six of them. So these Adirondack chairs are, you know, again, sort of the plasticky kind that will, will never rot or deteriorate um, with a high back. Um, very, very nice. Um, plenty, plenty, plenty. So um, I'm sitting underneath a beautiful tree and I think what seems like the quad central green area from over there it's oils hall i don't know what that is there's the campus ministries that looks like a chapel but inside it looked more like a theater that's the library that i went into that's the admissions right over there and there's a bunch of other buildings right there up there and where i'm gonna head but just to give you some perspective i mean like i said this place is immaculate like I said, shout out to the physical plant folks who are really, here's one right there, um, really keep this place. If 
didn't know, Messiah is, I'll put in quotes, small Christian college. Um, not so small as I mentioned, uh, but very steeped in faith. And um, I know, I think it's a soccer program, or maybe it's more than that, but you know, they do missionary work, I think to Columbia. Um, there's an organization of athletes. Um, so um, I'm wandering right now. I mean, there are, I think, dorms further up that way and sort of yeah sort of all around the periphery look like all residences um kind of behind me main campus is down the other way so i'm gonna keep wandering okay as you can see this is the sullenberger residence and mountain view residence right here there's more over behind, there's a couple more that I saw, and I think, oh, that's a science building. Um, so, and I'm not gonna check out the residences because I'm sure I can't get in. Um, but I'm gonna keep wandering and see what else I can find. You know, it is a Thursday. Campus seems to be bustling a little bit, but with camps and whatnot, I might be able to score me a cup of coffee and a hat. That's a good day. Mission accomplished, except for the coffee, which is a big bummer. Oh, that is right, I can still get it. All right, so I'm gonna go get it. But check this out. All right, Messiah cap, I'm all set. This is really cool. This is the main gym area. And you can see I took some pictures of them. Every national champion has like a picture plaque honoring them, all the trophies. I mean, just this alone is magnificent, this whole stretch. There's a big volleyball tournament for uh, camp going on. Okay, I'm walking away from campus, kind of, sort of. It's all behind me uh, towards the Starry Athletic Field, um, which is where all the fields are. And you come over this really cool covered bridge. I and mean, if you guys are into architecture or whatever, covered bridges are an amazing thing. Um, original ones. This kind of looks original-ish. The wood, definitely, some of these beams, but... Uh, crosses over this like river, kids jumping in and out, so you can kind of see, a, and swimming, paddling, you name it, makes, today's one of those days which wouldn't be a good, bad idea, so. Okay, this is known as the breaches. And, you know, people were jumping in it before and it looked really tantalizing. So, I decided to hop in. Only issue is, uh, um, without shoes, it can hurt, especially when you're not used to walking on shells and rocks and stuff, but lovely. Lovely. I mean, it's definitely refreshing after a humid day like today. So I, I could see the appeal, but you definitely need like swim moccasins. Oh, and the, the rocks are sharp and slippery. So just be mindful. Let's 
you, once you come over the covered bridge to the right are these tennis courts, there's four of them lit. And then here is, looks like the baseball stadium. And I'm gonna walk in there really quick, check it out. Not sure what the deal is with the camp, so. Um, Yep, this is the baseball stadium. Looks like the stands are in the back into that hill up there. Yes, hot cup of coffee, lovely. Uh, there's the scoreboard. So it looks like this berm in the back this is a great place to watch a baseball game. So Shoemaker Field is right up there. There's a softball field that I'm gonna go to and some other fields, but so excited. This is the softball stadium. As you can see, there's a scoreboard right behind there. There's that river that people are swimming in and kayaking in. Um, clearly very good at softball as well. Yeah, national champs in 2019. They've gone to NCAAs, regional champs, conference, World Series appearances. I mean, they're real deal. And that's right up there is Shoemaker. We'll say the amazing thing again is you, you know, this is again, I sort of reiterate it, but small Christian college in the middle of PA is so good at athletics. That hall in the gym, I mean, you're, it's amazing how many national championship teams and individuals are from here. And I always wonder, like, and I asked, um, I asked about, you know, why Messiah? What is it about this place? So, uh, pretty unique. Okay, this is a field hockey stadium. You can see the bleachers, the lights. Anderson Field. And no, they were, again, national champions in 2016. Looks like those are some other tennis courts and um, another turf field and grass fields down there. You can see the camp going on, which is, that's where I'm going to head to right now. So, okay, this is... Um, this is a lacrosse stadium. Behind me are some bleachers, turf, uh, and really nice. Those are some wide open grass fields over there. Uh, that's, that's the training grounds, but that's where the camp's being held. It's lit too. I mean, anybody who has a lacrosse stadium, field hockey stadium, and a soccer stadium on their own is, I mean, that's pretty special. So, um, anyhow. These, these fields, these practice fields, if that's what they are, are immaculate. Like, they are the envy of a lot of teams, I'm sure, with grass fields, because these things are really nice. Okay, so here I am at Shoemaker Field. Um, it's a track as well. This is where the teams play. Six-time women's national champions and 11 time men's national champions. Beautiful grass. This is this has got to be one heck of a place to watch. Not only are there bleachers, but there's some hills to watch from. You could watch from behind the goal. Um, I think if you watch the what I think is the best game last year, Matt, Matt McDonald stole the ball from around here, midfield, ran down the end, dropped it in, and right there is where they scored with like 20 seconds left to win it. Um, so really neat, unique atmosphere. Like I said, the, it's lit. You can see lit field. You can see that's a campus right up there. That's the it's not a chapel. It looks like it would be a chapel, but it's more like an auditorium, I think. I don't know. Um, the river is sort of right down here. There's a practice field, a softball field, and the river is right around there. And there's that covered bridge I went through. Baseball over there. So, I mean, it's a lovely place. 
like I said, really meticulous about how it looks and how it's maintained. And you could see the commitment in this on this campus area for athletics, like their commitment to athletics. And, um, and you know, they've said, or I've read, like they take athletics as a form of you know their faith and how they compete and how they treat others and stuff. So. Um, all right, so I'm going to wander up there because there's some stuff too, so I'll check it all out. All right, that's it for me. I am uh, calling it a day. Um, the boot camp's almost over. I'm going to head back to the hotel, but um, hope you enjoyed this episode of Fields of Dreams at Messiah University. Um, what a... I, what a great little school, right? Like, I mean, the facilities are top notch. Um, everything's so well cared, well cared for. They definitely take pride in their athlet, athletics and their athletic accomplishments. Um, and uh, just as an anecdote, um, at this ID camp, they had a couple couple more than a couple of uh guys from the uh from the team and these guys are special you could just tell their control of the ball their speed with the ball their decision making probably more importantly is that they they know where guys are without even having to look uh, probably because they play within a system so um, I mean, they were interspersed with some, I think, some um, obviously aspiring players, but uh, they were, yeah, they were, there were a couple who were just off the charts good, and it was just noticeable the difference, um, just noticeable the difference between that and a high school kid trying to play um so all right hope you enjoyed this episode um and hopefully i'll see you soon on your campus peace out i will say isn't that lovely